Good evening. I'm Sergeant Lloyd with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Around 6 p.m., officers responded to the 3900 block of Peter Rabbit Drive in reference to a person shot. An adult male was transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The victim sustained gunshot wounds to the torso and to the pelvic area. Our initial investigation has revealed the victim and the suspect both know each other. Today, there was a confrontation between them, which led to gunfire. We do have a suspect in police custody. Violent crime detectives are on scene, and it's an ongoing investigation. Anyone with any information about this incident, please contact the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office at 904-630-0500 or via email at jsocrimetips at jacksheriff.org or the Crime Stopper hotline at 1-866-845-TIPS. Any questions? Was the victim the one that was driving that van that was in the middle of Jamie's? No, that was a witness. A witness, okay. So how did, how, how did that go down? Did you have to track, track down that person to stop in the middle of the road? Because obviously that was broken off in a while. They were trying to transport the victim to the fire station, which then from there he was transported to a hospital. Okay. How many total people were involved in all this? Looks like there was kind of a lot of, a lot of things happening on the, uh, the initial scene. So there was the victim, the suspect, and we had three, three witnesses, and then we also had four children that were witnesses too. Four children were witnesses too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Are the children the children of the victim and the suspect, or were they just in the area? Uh, this time, I'm not going to give that information out. Okay. And a general age range for the, the victim and the suspect? From six to nineteen. Oh, I'm sorry, the suspect. The victim and the suspect. Oh, the victim and the suspect. They're both adult males, uh, around in their thirties. Was it like a some sort of like dispute, like a like I don't know? It looked like there were two cars involved. Like were they shooting into a car, or was it were they outside the van at first, or what? What is this confrontation that took place that witnessed them all? We're still looking at the evidence to so we can verify exactly what occurred. We're going to based off witness statements and what the physical evidence is. So I'm not 100 percent sure at this time. Has anyone told you specifically what this argument is going to be about? No, it's it's a I believe it's going to ongoing issue between them two. Yes. Um, we were told that there was a blue pickup truck involved that, along with the white van. Uh, is that true? The, yes, that's the victim's truck. And you said you have a suspect in custody? We do have a suspect in custody. Where was he kept? At the scene. Has he, um, do you know what charges he might be facing? We haven't interviewed him yet, so no. And was he alone? Uh, we're still we're still talking to witnesses in Camas and area. So the blue Dodge Ram pickup truck neighbors were telling us that was the victim's truck, correct? Yeah, that's yeah, I just want to say that's okay. the victim's truck. And then the, the van uh, was the suspect? No. Oh, the witness truck. Yeah, it's yes. the witness. Sorry. The van was the witness. Yeah, that's a lot of things. Yeah, it's, it's a, there's a lot of moving parts in this incident. Right. That's why it's taking a little while for us to piece everything together okay. based off the witness statements and also physical evidence. Yeah. And that witness Attempting to drive them to the fire station. Oh, sorry, the state, yeah. mm -hmm. And the children that were there, the, they were witnesses. They're not. They're, they're just witnesses. They're not involved in any way, right? Correct. Anything else, guys? I think that's it. All right. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Have a good evening. You're welcome.